We're here with UMHB men's soccer coach Brad Bankhead with the crew headed to the Sweet 16 of the NCAA Division III National Championships for the first time in program history. Brad, congratulations. How does that feel? Feels great. We're really excited about it. Um, yeah, it feels fantastic. You get to the national tournament, have to go to San Antonio. You beat Willamette one to nothing in the first round, and then knock off number two Trinity three to two on their home field. Just talk about the emotion of that win over Trinity Sunday night and, and what that was like, especially in the final minutes as you're preserving that one goal lead. Well, uh, started off Saturday night with Willamette, with, which is a, a good good game for us. It was a they were a quality team and well coached and very gracious. Um, and uh, it, we had to put in 90 minutes of pretty hard work in that game. And so now you're preparing for Trinity, who um, had a uh, great first half against UT Tyler. And one of those days where everything went right for them and everything went wrong for Tyler. And, and so um, they got to rest a lot of guys uh, pretty quickly. So we're turning around uh, less time plus more minutes played. And uh, so... Our guys, I uh, was really, really pleased with their work in the first half and ex extremely hard work. And in the second half, it looked like we were starting to lose our legs a little bit and, and turn into some defending. And um, But the guys, what I was really just proud of, just the resiliency there and uh, continue to battle in the fight. And, um, I've been, and you know, it was worth it. I mean, I, I tell the guys all the time that hard work, that the pain you're going to feel, um, we're not going to, after the game, going to think that that wasn't worth it. And so. Uh, those guys, um, I was just so proud of them, so pleased, and they deserve every, every minute of it. With that win behind, how much of these guys, how much confidence are these guys playing with right now? You, we just beat Trinity. I mean, uh, so yeah, we, we've got some confidence, um, and uh, we, we can't, it can't, this can't be it. This can't, you know, we're, our season's not done. I don't think we hang our hats on this and and uh, and just not care about the next game. I think more than now. More now is our guys feel like, okay, we, we can do this. And uh, we just beat number two team in the nation. And, and Trinity was uh, obviously a quality opponent has been there and done that and, and very experienced in the playoffs. And this is kind of our first time through it. And so to be able to do that and take care of a team of the caliber of Trinity, um, I think we have the, the uh, confidence going forward and, and, and any team can be beat at this point. You mentioned uh, this kind of the first time through. There's so many firsts for this program this season. You've been knocking on the door of this for a long time. I know you've been building toward this. And what, what's what been the difference this season? We're veterans. we got some, a seasoned group of players. Um, and the, the senior group, I think every year in my postseason meetings, I was just really encouraging those guys to own the program. We talked a lot about that. I mean, this has got to be your program. This isn't Coach Bankhead's program. Uh, we all have to own this together. And, and those guys just taking some leadership and, and owning a piece of the program and being very serious and committed to it. Um, and now they're seniors, and then we have a good group of juniors and sophomores who are following their leadership. Uh, but we have guys who've been there, guys who are, are seasoned veterans and a lot of maturity um, on our team. And that has been the biggest thing. Uh, as well. Obviously, they love each other. I mean, they've been around each other for a long time, and, and it's a great, great group of guys. Now you're headed up to Chicago, a place you all have never played before, obviously, mm -hmm. to take on Emory, a program you've never played before. How steep has the learning curve been over the last couple of days trying to get ready for that? Um, we have to figure out how to play in 40-degree weather and rain, and uh, I'm not sure that we're going to know how to really get that done until we get up there. So um, right now it's just um, it's it, more than anything is dealing with the details of travel and uh, planning and, and these guys and taking care of their schoolwork before we leave. And it's just all the logistics. And that'll be a, an experience that I think I've, I've talked to a lot of veteran coaches who have been there uh, who have really helped me. Like, hey, you need to focus on this, that, and uh, not care so much about this. Um, so as a uh, coach who's never been a Sweet 16, I've got to sort it out just as much as the guys. And uh, I want the guys to maintain focus on the game and let me t deal with all the logistics and, and dealing with uh, Emory and how, how are we going to beat Emory? Uh, how are we going to get up to Chicago and deal with the weather? Uh, we'll deal with all that, guys. You focus on the game. Congratulations to you, Brad. Best of yeah. luck this weekend. Uh, thanks so much.